Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. My gosh, the, the stream for EW today was something else. Like, Jaxi just dropping hints everywhere. For those of you that didn't, didn't hear about it, people in the Discord discovered what that music that Jaxi showed is from. Apparently, it's like an Australian song. So, I feel like that even more nails down that it's got to be Australia. Like, it just has to be Australia. I, I really couldn't see it being anything else. It, it, I, I just couldn't imagine it being anything else. Because apparently the song that he played was like an Australia song. Well... It wasn't like a true confirmation, Caswell, but he did do his I cannot confirm nor deny thing. So that is like, it is likely that it could be. Definitely could be like his way of trying to confirm it without like actually confirming it. Definitely a possibility. Let's get some giant bucks down today. This, this grind is getting to an insane spot, guys. Like, oh my gosh, the amount of diamonds that I've had showing up recently is just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Uh, Derek, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Great one, kangaroo. Oh, man, could you imagine? Great one, kangaroo. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy, man. Thank you once again. Really appreciate it. You got an albino cape buffalo. Nice walking dead edits. Nice. That's awesome, dude. That is super cool. Also, guys, we got an albino whitetail on the map. So we're going to see if I can get it to pop out. I got to spawn last night while I was uh, chilling in Brober's stream. Brober and I were chatting while he was streaming. And I was like, oh, albino. And there it is. There's its little face. There's that little feller. You know, it's not a crazy one, but it's still an albino. And unfortunately, um, I may have killed one of the level ones here by accident. I accidentally killed one of my level ones that was at this zone. So yeah, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta shoot this zone down even more now. So that's unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is, I suppose. N nothing I can do. It already happened. Let's see if we can get this albino. Actually, you know, we'll go we'll go one run before we kill it. I do want to wait for more people to get in the stream so they get to see it. I want more of you guys to be able to see it. So we'll probably wait until a few more people get in here and then we'll kill it. Let's get their attention so we can pop that big buck wherever he went. There he is. Not going to be able to get him though as he is deep in the brush. But we got one of them. We did get one down. No clue, Michael. No clue. They haven't told us when we will know. I don't know if they would ever do like a... Uh, I don't think they would do a great one for like a new species. I don't think so. Because then that would be considered like paywalling a great one, you know? So I don't know if they would do that yet. Jaxie had mentioned that the first great ones are going to be on base game maps. And that eventually, like, later into the game's life cycle, they'll start doing great ones for other species that are on, like, DLC maps. Nice. We got two of them, I think. Maybe? Maybe? Might have just been one. I might have messed up the first shot. Hey, Charlie, how's it going? Good to see you. Glad you can make the stream. What do we got over here? Solid buck. That's what we got. A solid deer indeed. Hey, CJO, how's it going, man? Today is the day for the black bear to show up. Oh, well, I'm not hunting black bear today, CJO, so... Probably not. I'm I'm focusing whitetail today. I'm probably gonna do black bear tomorrow. 
Probably tomorrow. But yeah, no black bear today. I just, I can't bring myself to do black bear. I need a break from it so I don't get fully burnt out. Because if I get fully burnt out, then I know it'll never happen. <laughs> Ah, we got it. Nice. Okay, for a second I wasn't sure if we made that. Nice, Caswell. Nice. Oh, I really am Schrader. The bears just, they've been driving me crazy. <laughs> and I figured, you know, we might as well go for some whitetail because this grind has got pretty insane. We will definitely be doing some black bear on the next live stream though. Next live stream we do, we'll do some bear hunting. And maybe even in a video as well. Yeah, me too, Drake. For a second, like, when it happened, I was like, ah, oh, he probably just didn't realize it. And then, then I got to thinking, like, a little bit after. I was like, I mean, it's a little strange. A little strange. Like, how would that even happen? How would you get your... Like, you have to actually, like, right-click it and click flip in order to flip your, uh, the, uh... The thingy upside down, the, the the game. You'd have to actually like do that yourself. It would, it would be something that he would have had to have manually done. So that's where I was kind of like, oh, that has to be a clue of some kind. Like that, he did that on purpose. And sure enough, he definitely did. I mean, I think at this point, it's all but confirmed that it's got to be Australia. It's got to be, man. It's got to be. How am I doing? I'm doing good. I'd be doing better if these stupid deer weren't floating. Get back here. No. <laughs> Get back here. I didn't say you could float. Yeah, thank you. And th thank you. Yes. There we go. Better. Stay on the shore. Gosh. Silly deer. 14. Not too bad. What do I think my next great one will be? I am going to assume it'll probably be a whitetail. With the way the bear grind's been going, I would say whitetail is most likely going to be the next one we get. And I'm going to guess cluster rack because that seems to be the one that I get the most. Seems that I'm just a, a cluster rack magnet. Oh, that thing came back as a one. Huh, sick. Because I had shot both the bucks that were here. One of them came one of them came back as another one. But at least we have one to shoot there. How many kills am I at on Whitetail? Uh 720. Just hit 720 with that kill right there. We're gonna do our best, Piggy Wowness. We're gonna do our best. Hey Tony, how's it going? How's it going, man? Couple bucks out there, some real nice ones. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that neck shot at the end. That was brutal. Oh, that poor thing. No, Mr. Even. Just because I don't hunt them for a stream doesn't mean I've gave up. People can do other things, you know. We gotta we gotta switch it up so I don't actually give up. I gotta I gotta switch things up keep things interesting or else it, it, it will get to a point where I'll want to give up for good so yeah we're taking a break from bears for a couple days that way I don't go insane wow CJO unbelievable unbelievable man holy giants all of those are huge Oh! Oh, that poor thing. Bro, really? Are you, you gonna do that to me? Ah, oh, man. At least we have that wipeout. Jeez. Do I think Axis Deer will be on the Aussie map? If it's Australia, I would imagine they would have to do Axis Deer. It would not feel right if there wasn't. 
So I'd say yes. I'd say they probably will do Axis Deer. In my opinion, like, if they if they do Australia, right? I really hope they combine Pickabine Bay and Bush Rangers Run from Classic. Like, give us all the species that are on both of those maps and make it like a 50-50 a type of thing, right? That is my dream. That would be such a dream map. That would be so cool. Let's see what do we got down here. There's some some buckaroos. Just two. Wait, there's the rest. Okay, there's the rest. Oh my gosh, everything. They're all popping in at once. Uh, not really anything shootable though. Nothing shootable there. Okay, good to know. Um, I believe that's all for this run. I've been moving so many tents around and around and stuff that I'm trying to remember. Is there any others? I don't think so. I think that's all of them. It might have been lying and it's on Mars. <laughs> probably, probably. Uh, it's basically confirmed at this point, uh, Evan. Or even. Like, uh, the Jaxie has dropped so many hints that literally pretty much point to Australia. Like, he, he said down under a few times. He flipped his screen upside down to indicate that you're on, like, the bottom of the world, which would be Australia down under. And uh, we know that the map is unlike anything we currently have. It's not North America. It's not Africa. So... I mean, and and the biggest thing, Jaxi was playing Australian music in the background as one of the hints. Everybody in the uh, Discord, the official Hunter Discord, they figured it out. They figured out that the music playing was an Australian song. So that was probably the biggest confirmation right there. I think it's I think it's pretty pretty clear at this point that we got to be getting Australia. But it seems like we're going to have like a concrete answer soon based on what Jaxie was saying. It sounds like they're going to actually reveal it eventually eventually here. So that's going to be pretty sick. Now we just got to figure out when. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Yeah, Ginger, that'd be insane. Yeah, he also said it was not a reserve. So that would kind of like indicate that it's not like a designated hunting reserve, yeah. Because pretty much every map in the game currently is a hunting reserve. And a lot of people were pointing out like, well, Australia is like a very like vast open area where you can hunt like everywhere. So maybe it's that. I don't really know too much about like what parts of Australia are huntable, but from what I know, I think it's a pretty large portion of it. There's a level two. Okay, sick. What do we got over here? Nothing. Okay. So those have not arrived. You want to shoot a melanistic kangaroo? Oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Oh, it'd be so cool. What if we can hunt all of Australia? Like, they just open up the entire, like, continent. <laughs> like, here you go. Have fun. That would be insane if they made a map, like, that was, like, the size of a, a full continent. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine that? That'd be insanity. Wonder if it will be a bigger map. I would imagine that it'll probably be the same as every other map. They don't ever really deviate from their map size. It's pretty much always the same. Or very close. Is that enough content for you? <laughs> oh, that'd be insane. Gives us away at the hunter size map, could you imagine? That'd be crazy, man. That would be extra crazy. And a lot of people are starting to think that 
it's going to be a great one fallow as well because of that. Because of the fact that it's pretty clear that it's Australia now. A lot of people are leaning towards a uh, great one for a fallow deer. Which, that's been one of my top three picks of ones that I thought it was going to be anyway. I kept saying the possibilities are fallow because it's one of the most requested ever. Um, Euro Bison because of the multi-mount. And Fox because of the rework they did to them a couple updates ago. And with Australia looking like it's going to be the new map, I would say that it's a high chance that Fallow could be on a map like that. And then that would be the perfect opportunity for a Fallow Great One. Euro Rabbit just for Brobra. I mean, technically Euro Rabbits can be in Australia, right? They are in Classic at least. Dude, this buck right here loves to hide. He is the most stubborn buck ever. Also, where'd the albino go? Are we gonna have to wait till run number three to take down that albino? It's looking like it, cause he's not here. He, I, he just wants more of you guys to be here to watch it, I guess. I, I guess this buck's just waiting until everybody gets here. What a silly deer. Or wait. Is that? No, that's... Okay. We do have a couple different bucks here. Can I just... Squeeze that in there? Oh, there's the albino. Wow! Of course you'd be hiding up in the brush. And I screwed up the shot. I mean, maybe, maybe he'll go down? I don't know. Uh, we'll drive up there. He's gone for a break? I know, right? At least we found him. He's there. That's an albino that I got to spawn last night while I was uh, chatting in Brober's stream. Brober and I were in a call while he was streaming and I got that guy to pop up. And of course, I wanted to save it for you guys to see. Now, if we could just find where this buck went down, that'd be amazing. Can't believe that deer was hiding up in the brush. Unbelievable. What a rude deer. Where's the tracks? There we go. There's the tracks. Okay. Lovely. Wonderful. Let's get that little buckaroo. He's right here, actually. That second shot must have been decent then. Viper, thank you for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, the scrapped uploads on the channel, and uh, all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing great. Hey, Remington. I'm glad that you enjoy the videos. Can you please send a message? Oh, what type of message do you want me to send? And why? <laughs> it's a really odd request. Can I send a message? Yeah, I saw that dynamic. I did see that. I'd say that is definite confirmation. Alright, let's see. Hey, chill. Stop moving. Nice, we got them both. Aw, uh, he died as that bullet impacted. Finally got desktop mode, working decent on my Steam Deck, and was able to download Rigs of Rods. Nice, Johnny, nice. That's awesome. What was the 33rd great one? What do you mean? The, uh, the title says we're hunting for our 33rd great one. We're on the grind for number 33 right now. Hey, Joe, how's it going? Good to see ya. What is the mission to get the free 303? I don't remember the name of it. I just know that it's towards the end of the Tiabaroa mission line. There's a deer in the back there. Let's see if we can get them to move. Come on, little bucks. Are you, like, the only one that did not hear that? Oh, he's moving. 
But he is still calm, oddly enough. Oh, there we go. Nice. We got the other one. I didn't even realize there was a second level two there. That's nice. Can I? There we go. <laughs> second to last mission. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I remember it being the helicopter, but I couldn't remember what the name of the mission was. Do you think we'll get a Great One Road Deer in the future? Uh, maybe. I'd say so. I'd say Great One Road Deer could be a very high possibility at some point. It'd be a cool one. Would love to see something like that. Road Deer are honestly pretty underrated. They would be a great, uh, species for a great one. I saw a few people saying like, oh, they'd be too small, but honestly, big roe deer are pretty insane looking. Like giant roe deer, they look amazing. A lot better than those shots I just made. Should it be heard managing single stag red deer? Yes. There's a lot of single stags, so you will need to manage them if you're doing herd management. And I would recommend managing those down as quick as possible so you don't have to chase them around constantly. Because if you have solos ending up like being your final like grinding deer, then they're going to be moving all the time and it'll slow your grind down. So I, tr I recommend managing those down to fours and below pretty early on in the grind so you don't have to worry about them as much getting those out of there as quick as possible is pretty important in my opinion did I ever get the bear great one not yet we're gonna continue grinding for it next stream next stream we'll be going for the bear again I mean I wouldn't say that Cole I don't consider myself one at least I'm just a guy that makes YouTube videos and happen to be able to turn it into a job thanks to all of you amazing people. Now, let's see. Let's take down that one. You are in our zone. Yeah, no bear today. I need a break from it. Like, I took a partial break from it yesterday. I did a 50-50 stream of bears and whitetail, but... Yeah, I just I, I just need a break from the from the bears a little bit more. Killing like thousands and thousands of bears gets tiring. Now let's see what we got here. There they are. Ooh, got him. Beautiful. Any clue when we can get a bear stream? Don't, don't even start with me, Drippy. Don't start with me. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea. It'll probably be tomorrow or the day after, depending on when I stream next. Whenever I stream next, we'll be doing bears. No, I don't hate the bears. I just need a break from them. I still like, uh, I'm still enjoying the bear grind. It's just, I need a little bit of a break so I don't get fully burnt out to the point where I don't want to play anymore. Like, I don't want to burn myself out. Don't want to get burnt out on the bears. So we got to pace ourselves. Is that a piebald? No. No, it just looked weird in the shadows. Come on. Come over here. I see you. Get out of the brush. Got him. Beautiful. Love those giants like that.
I feel like my latent map is a lot worse than yours. I only have four herds out of the 16 I shoot that aren't in shrubs, but I don't have any other maps with white tail other than Mississippi, so yeah. I I doubt that it's like Well, the thing is, like, everybody's map's a little different. You could just be getting a lot of bad luck. Well, that's that's not why I need don't need to check it, Imperium. It's because I've had the same five respawns for thousands of kills at this point, so it, it literally could not have made any Great One Bears spawn somewhere else. And like, I I checked the map thoroughly multiple, multiple times and accounted for like every single bear that I could before I started just focusing on those two, so. And plus, if there was a great one on the map, it would be decreasing the amount of nines we get by a lot. Great ones being on the map really cranks the spawns down. Because it's like, it's essentially like undoing some of the herd management because it's a really high level animal on the map. Uh, making all of the respawns come back smaller. And we're still getting diamonds everywhere, so I don't think it's, I don't think that's going to be the case. Don't worry, I've been I've been thorough. It's not like I it's not like I wouldn't have gone over my map and made sure. There we go. Beautiful. Hold on, I missed a membership. Sam, thank you for the 12 months, dude. 12 months has gone by very quickly. Keep up the amazing work as always. What's your thoughts on the EW stream today? Um, I, th I think it's pretty insane, the stuff that Jaxie was, like, revealing there. Pretty insane. Also, I need to... YouTube toggled off moderation activity again, so I, c I wasn't able to see, like, anything that was happening in chat. Freaking YouTube, man. Freaking YouTube. Why they do that? <laughs> I I know for a fact that I didn't toggle it off, so... Leave it to YouTube. Leave it to YouTube. <laughs> oh, man. Nice, GWP. I hope you enjoyed it. How long have I been on? Uh, we've been going for 29 minutes at this point. 29 minutes. What's my favorite great one? Ah, uh, the moose. I like the moose the most, but I like hunting the whitetail the most. Nothing there. There's a buck in the back. Solid deer. Got one we need to shoot there as well. I know, right, Huntress? YouTube at its finest. I mean, YouTube's flawless. Sorry, YouTube, don't get mad at me. Pancake, thank you for the super chat, dude. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. What time is it? It's currently 2.35 p.m. here. Uh, no, Logan, I didn't see it. I haven't got a chance to watch anybody's videos today. Oh, definitely, uh, I fight cakes, definitely. I'd say that's a necessity for Call of the Wild, for sure. There's our albino. He finally came out to play. I think it's time we take him down. I think it's time that we get him down. And then that one as well. What a spot to die. What a spot to die. Beautiful. Beautiful buck, man. I love the albinos. I really do. 
Let's grab this other buck first. So I don't forget him. That is a gorgeous deer. Too bad it wasn't a bigger rack, but still really nice. 174.70. Not quite a gold, but still pretty cool. Honestly, it's a really symmetrical one as well. That's a super symmetrical albino. That's kind of wild looking. I like that. That is a good looking deer. Really good looking deer. Now let's head over to this zone again. What if you did a side-by-side -side albino melamount? Ooh, that'd be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick. Unfortunately, I don't have room for that in my main trophy lodge, but... Could possibly do it in one of the uh, backup lodges. Like, with my main lodge, I try to make everything, like, huddle mounts as much as I can. Otherwise, like, I just run out of places to put trophies faster. Okay, that herd's gonna be stubborn, so we'll just forget about them this time. <laughs> That'd be interesting, Merle. <laughs> That'd be interesting. That's a weird three. Oh my gosh. Look at that three. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> I love the way that thing looks. Oh my gosh. That is a sick three. That is super sick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where'd he go? He's right there. That's such a cool three, man. I like that a lot. But oh, we got an extra one to spawn here too, so we're gonna have to kill one of those level ones. Let's try to get this thing to move. Because he's being blocked hardcore right now. Uh, let's see the distance. Approximately 314. That is such an awesome deer. There he goes. He's going down and get that one as well since there's an extra one that spawned there. That's an awesome looking diamond. I hope it makes it. I hope it makes it because... That could troll. The wonky ones that have close tip to tip spread always have a higher chance of trolling. That's a pretty sick buck though. Look at how it's angled. Yeah, like those, those G2s are angled in hard and so is the tip to tip. The tip to tip is really close. This might troll actually. <laughs> this, guys, this might be the rare big rack troll. It trolled! <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's a, that's insane. I'm taxing that. Oh, the rare big rack troll. That's crazy. That's one of the best bucks I've ever found. Like, that is so awesome looking. Look at those antlers. They're so squished. Oh my gosh, I love that. I absolutely love this deer. I love it. This, see, this is why... This is why I love doing herd management for Whitetail. I would never see a buck like this if I was just hunting them by shooting everything. I would have only, at this point, probably seen, like, maybe a hundred Whitetail Diamonds all time. And probably never would have found a buck like this. That's so cool. That is such an awesome deer. Probably my favorite troll I've ever had, besides my troll mela. I mean, obviously the troll mela is my favorite troll, but... That's a close one. That's really cool. Uh, sure, Joe. No, Fishy, I didn't. We're taking a break so I don't go insane, man. We'll be hunting bear again in the next live stream, most likely.
See if we can bounce between these three. Jeez. Yeah, ginger kinda. It's it's wild looking. For sure. Uh yeah, go for it, James. Go for it. see what's over here now I feel like it could still be Mongolia because they changed their perspective aka flipped it and add and adding an Asia map maybe maybe definitely possible but there was Australian music playing in the background drippy so like Jaxi played Australian music but a lot of the people in the discord figured that out that it was an Australian song so that's in my opinion that kind of like that that's what sealed the deal on Australia because it would feel really strange to put emphasis on a song that's an Australian song and then not have it be Australia like that would be that'd be an odd choice in my opinion ah maybe deep blue maybe what's the best loadout for Revon Thule uh, my favorite loadout for Rev on Thule. Always got to have a shotgun on Rev, so I always go with the 12-gauge pump-action shotgun. I like the 243 handgun for a lightweight option for a small game. And the 7mm and the 22 LR. Like, that is a very solid loadout. And if you want to add something with a little more oomph... What are you? If you want to add something with a little more oomph... To the uh, to the loadout to take down the moose, you could always add the three hundred in there. My gosh, what are you? I've been saying that a lot this stream because we're getting some weird deer, really weird deer, actually. Hmm, I want that guy to turn. But I suppose let's just do that. That's such a weird looking buck, man. Uh, Viper, thank you so much for the super chat. Challenge myself today only wolf and 10 millimeter. Ooh, 10 millimeter wolf hunt, eh? I like it. Hopefully that was fun, man. It sounds like it would have been fun. Thank you for the uh, super chat once again. Uh, yeah, Schrader did. I, I don't think there was any correlation, though, to be honest. The more I've played this game and the more I've learned about great ones, like, I don't think there was any correlation with, like, the weird spawns and then a great one popping up. Flat rack? It's, it's something. Definitely something. That's your next short. Definitely could be. It's a weird deer. Those are definitely shorts material. Doing the missions for Tiawaroa. Got a male albino red deer and a diamond as well. Nice, dude. Nice. Imagine we could get extended magazines for guns in Call of the Wild. That would be interesting if we could modify our guns. Honestly, I would love that. I would love it if we could modify the guns a bit more. However, I don't think they would do extended magazines at all because they... They make everything the way it is for a reason. That's such a weird deer. Literal coat hangers. Oh my gosh. That's taxable. I've never had one like this squished and flattened for Whitetail. We are getting some strange bucks today. Really strange bucks, man. That's crazy. The weird ones are coming out to play and say hello today.
What about long barrels for an attachment? I could see that maybe being a thing. I'd love to be able to use suppressors in the game. Maybe they could be like a... Really heavy, like add a lot of weight to your gun. But also make it so they don't spook animals from as far away and maybe it could reduce hunting pressure as well. Honestly. Even if it had no effect on spook range, I think like reduced hunting pressure would be a great thing. A uh, great type of like perk to add in if you were to do uh, suppressors. In my opinion, that would just be amazing. I would use them just for that if they added them. That's a big boy. Not gonna be able to get him this run though. He is darting off. What's better in my opinion, the 30 out six or the 270? Uh, 30 out 6, easily. The 270 doesn't have near the amount of power that the uh, 30 out 6 does. Yeah, maybe, maybe having suppressors. Ah, the thing is, in real life, suppressors do not decrease your, like, max effective range. In real life, a suppressor does the opposite. Just hit level 60 with 11 diamonds and 5 rares. Nice paper boat, that's awesome. Ah, uh, no, off the trail I don't. I played the first one, but not the second one. Just saw your new video, I think it could be Antarctica because it's in the bottom of the earth. Yeah, I've seen a few people say that. But the thing is, like, Jaxi played Australian music during part of the stream. So I'd say it's pretty likely that it's Australia. That's a big three. Nice looking level three. See if this one will actually make it. That one looks like it's definitely a diamond. Definitely a diamond, I would say. There we go. Who's saying it's Australian music? Everybody in the Discord. Somebody pulled the music from the clip and searched it up and it was it was an Australian song. Let's see what this is. 270. Boom! We got a diamond. Oh, it's a wonk too. So many wonky diamonds. I love it. That's taxable too. Look at how weird that is. That is insane. No, apparently it's an actual, like, Australian song, Imperium. A bunch of people in the official Discord, like, dug deep and found it. And when, on, if you go to Kill Clinton's video, um, Jaxie Beard, I think, I think it was, um, Casey made a comment on his video, saying that it's all but confirmed that it's Australia, and then Jaxie said, I cannot confirm nor deny dot dot dot, which that's a confirmation right there. Like, that's a confirmation. It's gotta be. That's like as good of a confirmation as you could get. That's such a cool buck there, though. Uh, let's up the diamond counter. Uh, Hamza, thank you so much for the membership. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, the extra Discord channels, the scrapped uploads, and all the other cool things. Thank you so much. All right, let's main menu. What's with all the wonky? That's what I'm saying, Koi. This is this is the most wonky deer we've had in a long time. Honestly, it's a it's a breath of fresh air. It's nice to see some really strange bucks popping up. But yeah, like, there's, there's definitely a lot of good guesses I was seeing for the map. Like, I really thought that for the longest time that it would have to be Asia or Australia based on the stuff that Jaxi said last stream and the stream before that. Um, and then I saw a lot of people saying Antarctica as well. I saw a few people saying 
um, a European map. I saw a couple people saying Africa 2.0, but I mean, they, they'd already confirmed at that point that it wasn't going to be Africa 2. But some people were thinking maybe they're trying to throw us off. Maybe it actually is Africa. But I, th I think now it's pretty, pretty concrete that it's uh, Australia. No bear hunting today, awesome A-Rod. I needed a break before I grow to completely hate bear hunting. So we decided to take a little bit of a uh, little bit of a break. Uh, Casey doesn't prioritize diamond hunting nowadays, Average Hunter. He barely even does Call of the Wild anymore. He's like a, he's a multi-game channel. Can't really get the diamonds if you're not, like, grinding the game, you know? And he doesn't use herd management either, so... That would be, that would be why. He just doesn't play the game as much as he used to, you know? Or Jackson could be playing a trick on us, maybe. I mean, anything's possible at this point. Yeah, off the trail, it definitely is. I like the Great One Moose the most. They're so cool. Trees! Wow, that block too? No way, man, no way. No way. That's crazy. That is crazy. Another kind of strange deer. Well, I'm going to try something. We haven't done the Argus on the 308 in a while. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's switch it up. Let's use the Argus a bit. Yeah, pretty much, Nicholas. Like, Jaxie, Jaxie's really trying to like give us, give us the hints we need at this point. Love to see it. I it just makes me so happy that it's likely Australia. Like, oh my gosh, we needed that so bad. It's been a little bit since we've had something this exciting. I mean, Rev on Thule was the last really big release where everybody, like, loved it. Like, uh, New England Mountains was very mixed reception. Some loved it. A lot did not care for it at all. Uh, Pancake, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. What if they added illegal things on the map, but they costed money to claim it? I don't think they would ever do that. If it's illegal to hunt in real life, they probably would never add it to the game. Thank you for the uh, super chat, though. Much appreciated. Yeah, I know, right, Johnny? <laughs> New England was one of those maps where it's like, ah, this could have been, could have been really good, but it's just meh. In my opinion, what we really need for New England was we needed some new species, like more new species than just green wing teal. We needed some like new small game, maybe like a, a new big game animal, though that would have been tough considering the location. Nice, we got all three of them. Love to see it. Yeah, the thing about New England is I really like it for small game, but it it sucks for Great One grinding. Uh, it didn't have any new species besides Green Wing Teal, and most of the species are way too spread out on the map. Like they can be literally anywhere, which makes it so like if you're trying to hunt a specific species, you got to cover a lot of ground just to make any progress. 
When do Mule Deer drink on SRP? Uh, it should be the same time as other maps. I believe it's like 15. If I'm not mistaken, it's either 14 or 15 that Mule Deer start drinking. One or the other. I think 15. Yeah, probably, Nicholas. I'm going to assume it would, it would have to be similar to that. I mean, in the Hunter Classic, the Australian reserves in that game, there's two of them. One of them's a Australian jungle. And the other is like the more traditional wide open type of stuff you'd expect from Australia. I'm hoping they'll do a combination of both. I'd love to see a lot of like jungly areas. If they did like the jungly rainforest swampy type of Australia look, that would be so cool. But ideally like a combination of the arid parts and the jungly parts would be like my dream for Australia. That'd be my dream map. I just hope that they have Rusa Deer and Sambar Deer. That's two of my most wanted and favorite species from the Hunter Classic that would go so perfectly with a map like this. Come on, bro. You're not dying. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Camels could be interesting, yeah. Could be interesting. I just don't know if they would do camels. I think because, like, most people don't see camels as something to hunt. So I don't know how it would be received if we had, like, camels on the map. That would be very... It would feel really weird. Like, even though you can hunt the feral camels, it would be really... It would just feel strange. What would I think about spear fishing? Um, it could be cool. I don't know if it's something I would want them to add to Call of the Wild, though. Because I don't know if it would go with the game very well, and it would probably cause a lot of bugs. Because that'd be like a whole new system being added. Luke, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Welcome back. Thank you for the membership renewal. Had a good story. I shot a turkey, but it turned into a bison. Not sure what happened. Just wondering if it's ever happened to you. Like, when you claimed it, it was a different animal? I cannot recall if that's ever happened to me, no. Maybe? It, it sounds like a familiar bug, but... I just can't remember if I've ever had it happen. I feel like that used to be a thing when the, uh... When the render glitch was a thing. That sounds like what used to happen with the render glitch, where it would show like the previous animal that you had shot. Hey TDV, how's it going? Hope you're doing great. What's the minimum score for a moose? I don't know. Um, I got a minimum weight moose recently. I can't remember what the score was. I know it was really low. But I don't remember the exact number. Alright, Matt, no worries, dude. Hey, Eternity, I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good, too. Uh, Luke, thank you for the super chat, dude. Been lurking for a while, uh, watching raccoons every shot. Or wait, no, you're watching every shot. Good luck grinding. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I had missiles to call the wild. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> We're just gonna go, uh, go nuke herds of whitetail? <laughs> All right, where's the rest of this herd? Huh. Guess they didn't all show up this time. Late to the party. Either that or they've caught on to what I'm doing. Yeah, it'd probably have to be around 30-ish then, Huntress. Probably between 30 and 34, I would say. Well, the Reddit ad C4. I know, right? Kaboom! <laughs> Go 
Got to deal with the black bear on those missions. Or on those missiles. Missiles, yeah. <laughs> Smoke all the black bear with it. It's got a 300 kills into the moose grind. Enjoying to it taking a break to watch the 300th kill. It was the first level 5 diamond. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congrats on your first diamond of the grind. Yeah, this zone just does not want to cooperate right now. It is what it is. Is the only trophy you can get from missions in Medved? No, there is a good bit of mission animals, actually. I think there's at least 10 mission animals throughout all of the... Uh, all of the... Reserves in the game. How many whitetail zones do I have on the river? I have not counted in a very long time, so I'm not sure. I'd have to go through and count. No respawns there. Alright, so I think that probably is just because there was a few zones where we missed our shots. So, we'll see. What are mission animals? Like special animals that you can only get from missions. Like they may have a unique fur type or look a little bit different. Or in some cases, they may not really have any special characteristics at all. Kind of like, um, I believe on Hirschfelden, there's like an albino fallow as part of a mission. But it, it just looks like a normal albino fallow. Like there's some where they don't really have any differences. They may just be like a nice sized rare. Yeah, I was talking to her about that a few days ago, Paper. Definitely, definitely going to be interesting to see how it goes for her. Definitely not the easiest grind in the world. That's for sure. 225, not bad. Decent buckaroo. Decent little buckaroo. Uh, yeah, James, probably. Okay, just one of the twos is here. Let's get this guy down. Lady's gonna get it in 10 respawns. Oh, man. I mean, I'd be happy that she didn't have to suffer through it, but I'd also be like, why couldn't mine have been 10 spawns? I uh, no, Titanus, you just gotta play. The only way to make animals grow in Way of the Hunter is to just continue hunting around until they grow. There used to be different tricks you could use, but they patched most of them, I believe. Yeah, you used to be able to like fast forward time and it would fast forward their aging, but they nerfed that, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's not a thing anymore. I've not long restarted the game, so currently uh, level in cash building before the grind starts. Nice, Carl. Nice. I wish you luck, man. I wish you luck. Ooh, there's a three. There's a three. Hopefully the grind goes well for you. Is that the only big male here? Think it is. Can't complain, though. That's a nice one. Should make it, I would imagine. Or be very close, at least. Don't see any others, but I mean, the one that was here was a good one. That'd be insane, Merle. Uh, I hope it's a fallow, dear great one. Please give us a fallow, dear great one. We desperately need it. We desperately need a fallow deer great one. That would be one of the best great ones ever if they do it. Ah, it's a troll. Ew. Get away from me. Can't believe that was a troll. Actually, I can believe it. <laughs> That's just my luck. We've had so many trolls today. Like three trolls and one diamond. Yikes. 
craziness. Oh, there's another three. Okay, okay. That one's looking a little better. He's quite a bit wider. I think that one will make it if any of them are. No, Scott, I didn't. Do you think they will add a new gun with the new map DLC? Uh, probably, I would imagine. They usually do. They typically release a new gun. Hey, 259. That's a good one. Diamond number two of the day. Not too bad right there. Nice little double lung on it. Yeah, that can, ha that can happen, Lawson, for sure. There's so many different things that can, like, make a grind, like, switch up. Yeah, Nathan. How you doing, Nathan? That'd be pretty cool, Walking Dead. Fairly certain it's going to be Fallow Deer. He did hint that Fallow Deer need zones are going to be changing. How did he hint? I could not figure out what people meant by that. I saw a few people saying that he had said something about the zones being different. I I did not hear that at all. So I, I'm going to need like a clip of that so that I can verify it. Because I don't remember hearing anything about the zone times. So crazy to see someone not tax diamonds. Yeah, that's that's herd management for you though. You get a lot more diamonds, so if I tax all of them, like I'd be I'd be losing money. Not bad though. That's diamond number three of the day. The HM is popping off for the whitetail. We definitely have this in a better place than we do the bear grind. Later, Hudson. But I mean, like, that's the thing as well, right? I see a lot more diamonds pop up, which gives me more chances of getting the ones that I actually want to tax, like the really unique and wonky ones. <laughs> yeah, TDV, I do. Uh, think of it this, this way. A lot with just a uh, red deer and white tail. Red deer, I have... Where is it? 848 red deer diamonds, 741 white tail diamonds. Because with our herd management for red deer, we were getting a diamond every 10 to 20 kills. It was insane. Like, red deer is definitely the most extreme herd management we've ever been able to do. Uh, white tail, I get them like every 20 kills, roughly. Every 20 to 30 kills, a diamond pops up. Sometimes even more. Yeah, I know, right, TDV? That was 20,000 kills for red deer. Over 20,000 kills, we ended up getting 848 uh, diamond red deer. And only six great ones. <laughs> uh, I was not lucky with great one red deer. Most of my red deer grinds were very long. 3k, 3k, 6k, 6.7k. And then our last two were actually pretty lucky. 780 and I think like 130 or 180 or something like that. I think it was 180. Come on, little deer pop on out. Hey, do it. How's it going? How's the grind going? It's going good, man. It's going good. Seeing tons of diamonds popping up, so I'm really hoping we can get a super rare to uh, show up soon. That would be phenomenal. How long have I been live? Uh, one hour and six minutes so far. What's up with the zone? Oh, there they are. Finally, they showed up. Jeez. Taking forever. You're not a bad buck. Not a bad buck at all.
Beautiful. Two solid deer down. Uh, yeah, Sean, I remember you. Two ten. Two twenty four. Ten K in with no great one. Are you talking about for Mel's uh moose grind? I think Mel got her moose at like 7.5 or 8k or something. Kill count? 776 so far. Most of them are red deer? That yeah, sounds about right, Huntress. Those red deer, they, they just love to give the diamonds. Alright, let's go ahead and main menu. Hey, Mo Madness, how's it going? We've just been smoking these whitetail, trying to get a, a great one to spawn. Like 11k kills combined, jeez. Sheesh, that is ridiculous. I hope my bear grind isn't like that. <laughs> been grinding for the albino lion, going pretty good so far. Nice, Cole, nice. Yeah, that's one of my favorite rares of all time. Albino Lion is just so gorgeous. Like, oh my gosh. Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, got you, Sam. If you make a clip, you can just uh, copy the link to the clip. And then uh, anybody that clicks the link, it'll show them the clip. We definitely have a few stubborn respawns. Definitely got a few respawns that are being really stubborn. Hello? Yeah, no respawn there either. Nothing there. Yeah, our respawns are being really slow. I definitely think we're just not killing enough per run. I think we need to find a way to... Get a few more down per run. I'll probably end up having to kill a couple level 1s in some of the zones where I don't have as many shootable males. Um, I always yell quite loud whenever I get a great one, Nathan. Well, it wouldn't be a matter of undoing herd management, uh, Cole. I- Well, it wouldn't happen to me, Cole. I wouldn't have them not come back. I've already undid the herd management on this map once before, and it was fine. I was even able to redo it, and my spawns were still consistent. I'm so many kills into hunting on Layton that there's just, they always end up coming back to the zones I kill them in for the most part. Yeah, I've already done, I've already done full herd management, then undid the herd management, then redid it, so shooting a few ones out of my main zones won't hurt the respawns. It's just I'm not killing enough per run, and so they're not all respawning the next run. I've noticed that whitetail are the only species that do that. Hello there. Okay, these ones showed up. Nice. Another weird wonky dude, too. Also, we're now at 777 kills. You know what they say, that's a lucky number. Come on, where's the other one? Pop out. Pop out, buddy. I think it's pretty uh, clear he doesn't want to pop out. There he is. I 
Oh, oh gosh, don't look. <laughs> yeah, TDB. Sounds about right. There's a buck. Does her swapping still work? Uh, no. It only works if it's a solo animal. Like, with Black Bear, you can shoot the females as well, and then just whenever the females get to a place where you want them to be, just don't shoot them anymore. But with something like Whitetail, it does not work. I've tried it, and they ended up creating a new herd instead. Uh, you shoot the fives, Merle. Shoot the fives if you're doing HM for the red deer. With red deer, you leave fours and below. Yeah, I don't think it was actually working with the red deer. I think what it was is that I was shooting, like, um... I think it was just solo males showing up, to be honest. <laughs> Either that, or maybe it did work back then and it just doesn't anymore, because we tried it with Whitetail a little bit and it just ruined the herds. Melanistic Great One next? I hope so. Could you imagine that? That'd be so crazy. That would easily be like the greatest thing I could ever get. Would quit life if this man gets an ultra rare? I know, right, TDV. I- I wouldn't believe it at first. I'd just be in awe. I'd be shocked. I'd just be like, no way is, am I looking at this. Okay, we got two bucks. Yeah, if I get an ultra rare, then I will hit a new octave that nobody thought was even a possibility. My voice will go higher than any known possible range that anybody's ever reached in the history of the world. Nothing yet, Plain Jailer. We have not got any great ones yet. And on this grind right here, we are currently 784 kills into it. Ah, uh, yeah, go for it, James. Uh, for Whitetail, they're all on the left half of the map, Ds. All on the left half of the map, so like Balmont Swamp, and then everything to the left of that. Hey, there we go, we got two bucks here, nice. Ooh! Smoked him. Uh, yeah, Jimmy, we got a couple of diamonds. We got a really crazy big rack troll whitetail. It was literally a big rack whitetail that scored 249. One of the coolest level threes I've ever killed. And then we also got an albino level two. A smaller one. I think it was like 170s. Really awesome, though. And a lot of just strange wonky deer in general. It's been quite the day. Been quite the day for the weird deer. Did I not kill the first one? I might have messed up. I might have messed up the first one. I did. I did somehow. Where's the- there's the blood. No organs hit. Huh. Did I spine it? I don't know. Nope, I- I completely miss vitals. Okay. Great one soon. I hope so. I hope so. It's been a while. That Doing that bear grind has made it so we haven't had a great one show up like in a while. I mean, we had the whitetail pop up, but that's like the only great one that we've had in like a month. Or something like that. We need another. 
Like, if I had just been hunting whitetail this whole time instead of bears, I'd probably have, like, 37 great ones or something like that. Just because I can kill whitetail way quicker. And they give great ones much faster on average. Nice little three. Another wonky dude. Oh my gosh. What's with the wonks? I love it. That's sick. That is super sick. Let's see if this three makes it. I think it's got a chance. Looked like a pretty wide one. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, definitely not. Another troll. <laughs> Holy. Hey, Zachy, how's it going? Yeah, lots of wonky ones. Really wonky. Uh, yes, it is possible to get a Mela Great One. It is possible to get a Melanistic Great One. For the white tail, at least. Nobody's ever killed it, though. Somebody's killed an albino, and then a few fabled piebalds have been killed. Um, fabled piebald would be an ultra rare. It is very rare. I think less than 10 people have legitimately gotten it. Pretty insane. I really hope that we manage to be one of the people that gets an ultra rare someday. Getting an ultra rare would be... Oh my gosh, it would just be... Unbelievable. And like, to the point where I wouldn't even be able to, like, explain how excited I was. I'd probably be speechless, to be honest. I would likely be completely speechless. Yeah, Steam is definitely down. I saw somebody mention Steam being down. Yeah, it definitely is. I can't access multiplayer. Don't I already have one? No, I don't have a fabled piebald. I have a bugged piebald great one, and that was because it was originally a normal great one, and then when they did a patch to fix some fur type issues in the lodge after the Rancho update, any whitetail that you had shot during the time of Rancho's release and the hotfix, they got flipped. Their fur types flipped, so most of the commons that were taxed during that time turned into either piebald, albino, and then I believe any melanistics turned into piebalds. So it was an unfortunate thing. It made a lot of people's trophies change fur type, which honestly, it, it kind of made me mad. That was one of the things where I, I was very, very annoyed with the fact that it did that. Because, I mean, that was my first great one ever. And to have it have that happen was definitely, uh, definitely a sad thing to see. Do I have a super rare? Yes, I believe I've got 11 or 12 super rares. I think it's 12. I could be wrong, though. It's either 11 or 12. I always forget. All right, little buck, I'm gonna need you to move. Much better, buddy. That is one more kill. We're at 791 now. Where is... It's clear over here. My gosh. My gosh. Yeah, I know, Jimmy. Yeah, I think it is 12. Because let's see, we have five super rare white tail. We have, I believe, four super rare red deer. Then we have the moose, the caribou, the duck. So yeah, that's 12. That's 12. Technically, we have two albino diamond axis deer, but I don't count those as super rares because it was during the time when level fives were over spawning by a ton, right after Truerax was added to the axis deer. So, unfortunately, I don't count those as super rares. Well, 
What's up with these respawns, eh? Some of the other lakes ended up getting them back, but not that one. What do you mean, uh, James? What do you mean? Click on what video? I know YouTube makes it so certain there there is like region locks for some videos. Where like if you're in a specific region, YouTube won't show you some content. That's the only thing I can think of. One buck down there. All right, later, Huntress. Thank you for dropping by. What part of the map do Lesser Kudu drink? I think they are on, like, the coast, if I'm not mistaken. Aren't they on the coast, guys? I could be wrong there, but I think they're on the coast. How many great ones have I got to spawn? None today. In total of all time, 32. Why tell the hardest animals to get respawn? Uh, I don't think so, actually. It's rare that mine does this. The reason we're getting less consistent respawns right now is because I'm not killing as many per run since we've been managing some of the zones down. So I'm not getting as many kills per run, which is making it so they aren't as reliable. I've noticed with Whitetail, you need to be killing like 20 plus a run to get all the respawns to come back immediately. Anytime I get less than 20 a run, I run into issues with them being slow with the respawns. Did Jaxie say anything about in the next great one? Uh, no. I don't believe so. He didn't say anything that's like, really points to anything. A lot of people are thinking Fallow. Apparently, somebody was saying that he mentioned like, the drink times of Fallow or something like that, or the zones of Fallow. But I haven't actually seen a clip of where he said that, so I can't confirm what he actually said. Have I had a Big Rack Great One? Yes, I've had a few of them. Um, I think the Big Rack Whitetail is actually one of the most common racks I've been able to get. I think I have like four, maybe five of them at this point. That rack and the cluster rack are like the most common for Whitetail, it seems. We're definitely killing a lot more this run, so... On mobile, you can click the video to see the details of the video, like how far you've gotten. When I go to chat, it says you're live. Right by it, it says banned. Interesting. That's really strange, James. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody saying that before, so I don't know what that would be. Hey, Emerald, how's it going, man? Uh, yeah, Lucky's still on the map. We do indeed still have Lucky on the map. He's a staple of the Whitetail Grind Force, you know. There we go. Popping them and dropping them. Eventually, I'm going to try to position things a lot better. Then we'll be able to get a lot of zones where we kill them super quick like this. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Uh, Jones, thank you for the super sticker. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is Lucky? Lucky is a piebald. Lucky's a piebald that we've saved on our map. Message retract. I did not know you could retract a super sticker message. That would, that's just retracting the sticker. That's so strange. I've never seen that before. That's actually hilarious. Um, I don't even know what there ever has been in regards to that B-Dog because we don't promote use of any type of, like, uh, glitches like that. We don't promote the use of, like, 
duping glitches and things. That's that's not cool. So even if I did know, I wouldn't say what it is. Because we don't condone it. If I kill some of Lucky's friends, we'll get the luck? Maybe. You never know. We might have to at some point. We might have to go smoke uh, Lucky's buddies. No, we haven't got the great one yet, unfortunately. What do you mean what happened to bears? We're still hunting bears. Just because I go one stream hunting a different species doesn't mean we're done with bears. Just means that we're hunting something else for the day. Nice, SB. Nothing there. Let's reset. One gone. Thank you for the five months, dude. Good day, mate. Finally getting Australia. Can't wait. I know, right? I'm so excited. I am so excited. Like, all the clues are pointing to Australia. It's so nice to see. Because, I mean, that's something we've been asking for for a very long time. Uh, the fact that it's very likely happening is just, it's surreal. It's like next level exciting. There's a buck there. There he is. He walked right back to where the other one died. That's amazing. Saving me some time. No, Riley, and, and please don't spam the same thing like that. Chill out. You remember, you should know better. Will we get to shoot kangaroos? I'd say it's likely. The Hunter Classic has kangaroos, so... I would imagine they would have to do kangaroos. Uh, Sam, thank you for renewing your membership, dude. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. Welcome back. Thank you, Crow, for the amazing videos. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing amazing. Again, nothing here. Oh, wait, more? Definitely having a few stubborn respawns that just don't want to show up. It is what it is, though, you know. It is what it is. Hey, Harrison, it's going good, man. Going really good. Uh, let's head down here. So we have two zones that are being really weird. Only two zones. The one that we were just at and then the one we're heading to now. The rest are respawning like it's nothing. I imagine these will pop up randomly again. These zones have always been a little bit slower. Like, they are, they more commonly will get delayed respawns. In fact, not even all of them are here this time. Nothing over there. All right. NBS, thank you so much for the membership, dude. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. South America next map or no? It's looking like it's Australia, Abe. Very, very high chance of it being Australia, based on all the hints that we got. Hey, like I said, there they are. The respawns are back. They just took a little bit of time. There's one of them right there. Thank you, Gavin. I appreciate that, dude. I appreciate that.
Just the one, though. Just one respawn here. Just one. Uh, biggest tip for getting diamonds would be just hunt near water. Hunting near water is going to make you see more animals. So more chances of seeing a diamond. You found your missing whitetail zones? Oh, no, Nathan. How many were there? How many were there? Let me guess. There was so many hiding. He had like a whole army of whitetail just hiding away in the bushes. What's herd control? You mean herd management? Herd management is just shooting the big ones and leaving the small ones. It's like selective harvesting, essentially. You're just selectively choosing which ones you shoot and which ones you don't shoot. And if you do it long enough, you'll start seeing more big males showing up, which is what we've done here. We get diamonds very commonly now. Because we have loaded up our map with tons of level one whitetail. Yeah, that'd be cool, MO Madness. That'd be awesome if they did that. You don't want to talk about it? Oh, man. It was at the lake on the far right of High Lake Territory. High Lake Territory, where's that? This? Or this? That's the only ones I can think of. Either this or this. Because both those get whitetail. High Lake Territory. That's in here, right? Yeah, it's High Lake Rock Formation. Yeah, it's got to be. The second one? Oh, gotcha, the big one. Makes sense. Makes sense, man. Uh, we just got another one showing up. That is a new one. We don't want another level one here. As this is a main zone. We want to keep this as many shootables as possible. Hey, Taylin, how's it going? Uh, Jones, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate all of the support, dude. Really appreciate it. Where's the great one? Let's get this big mail. There we go. Wow, we didn't get the uh we didn't get the big one. Jeez, feels bad. Jeez. I can't believe we didn't get vitals on the first one. My guess is it was probably a spine shot or we just were too low. Give bad duck game, of course. We always do. Why did I start doing herd management again? It's because the developers came out and literally told us it's not cheating. Feel free to do it. You can do it if you want to. Somebody asked Jaxie a question during one of the EW streams, and their question was, do you guys consider herd management to be cheating? Because I see that there's a lot of people that do, and... Uh, Jaxie was like, no, no, not at all. Um, I don't even know why it's a conversation. It's a game mechanic. Some people want to mess around. It, he said it's nothing more than just messing around with your uh, your herds a little bit to get better spawns. Like, we actually have a command for it if you want to, if one of the mods wants to bring up the flip. I forgot what I named the command, but I'm sure one of you remembers. Yeah, the short of it is they confirm that they're okay with it and that it's not a cheating. It's not a way of cheating or exploiting, so. It is confirmed the developers do not see it as an exploit or a cheat or anything of the sort. Yeah, it's not the HM command. Oh, 
Oh, ha, 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 ha. 257, are you kidding me? That is such a tight one. Oh my gosh, we're getting the most insane diamonds and trolls today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is there a commands command? Yes, there is. I think that's built into Nightbot. That's such a cool buck, man. That is such a cool buck. We're getting so many cool diamonds today. So many cool diamonds and trolls. Yeah, there it is. There is the commands command. I might have named it like HMOK or something. That might have been the clip name. Wait, what do you mean NBS? I didn't take it as disrespect. What do you mean? When you got that initial spawn great one, you didn't seem that hyped. What do you mean? Which initial spawn great one, Cole? Are you talking about the latent one? I mean, it was like 2 a.m. in the morning. I couldn't. I couldn't yell. And that was back like, uh, that was back when I lived in my last place, which I had to be a lot quieter there. So my older great ones, I didn't get nearly as excited about because I couldn't. If I got, if I got as excited as I do now, I probably would have got kicked out of the place I was living in. So. That's why there's such a stark contrast from old great ones to like new ones for me. Hey, 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 hey. no, don't float. I didn't say you could float. No, Boston, not today. I needed a break. I use both scopes, Scott. I, I've always bounced between them, depending on what I'm feeling at the moment. Okay, we got two there. Oh, same situation for that, Cole. I was in a different place and I couldn't be loud. Older Scarecrow videos, I, I talked a lot different just because I, I couldn't be loud at any of the uh, old apartments I used to live in. Now that I'm no longer in an apartment, I can be a lot louder than I used to be. So I can actually be myself. <laughs> I can actually uh, be as excited as I'd like to be. But yeah, with a lot of my older content from like more than a year ago, I was living in apartments at the time, so I couldn't really be loud. Which is also like why my videos didn't used to have as much energy as they do now, because I, I just couldn't. I just couldn't uh, be as like energetic and loud as I wanted to be. Nowadays, you guys get the you get the actual crow with the content. Thank you for not running, sir. I really appreciate that. That guy's gonna get away, but it is what it is. We got a couple at least. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Thank you. I did sound really different. Uh it was a lot, like I said, a lot lower energy because I couldn't be as loud. And then also I had a old, I had a different microphone at the time, so that made me sound a bit different too. Nowadays I've got a better quality microphone. Uh, I have a very soundproof uh, place that I'm in now, so. Yeah, exactly, Scott, exactly. I can actually, I can actually portray how I'm feeling in my content nowadays. Especially like back when, back when I first started YouTube, 
like the first year of doing YouTube, you guys probably noticed that back then it was really like, I was really quiet because we had a neighbor where if I so much as like accidentally slammed a cabinet or let it close a little too loud, they would call the cops on us. So I had to be extra quiet when I was first starting YouTube. It was awful. It was so bad. I'm so happy that that's no longer a thing for me that I don't have to be quiet like that. Because that drove me crazy. Jabba, thank you for the five gifted, dude. Really appreciate it. Uh, little Gamer, Tyler, Charlie, Vision, and MO Madness. Congrats, guys. You just you just got gifted memberships. You just got gifted the memberships. When I aim, my character starts walking and makes me miss. That's not normal, Pringle. That's not normal at all. Oh, literally, Stinger. Literally. Full on Karen mode. <laughs> it was wild. It was wild. <laughs> RIP, Johnny. Johnny with the accidental hidings today. <laughs> Uh, bam, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Still on trying for my great one, Whitetail. Nice, dude. Nice. Hope you get it. Hope you get it, man. Oh, there's a buck. Hey, we got another one of the respawns back here. So two of them now. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Two twenty-eight, and this one should be a little smaller. Hey, Hawkeye, how's it going, man? Just smoking those white tails, always, you know. Smoke, ah, chill. Gosh, these these freaking white tail. I can't catch a break with them. I can't. Uh, if you want to uh, demonetize vet, I I wouldn't. If you're trying to do like a herd management type of thing by just shooting like max weight estimates, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Most likely, you'll run out of max weight estimates. That's why with like herd management, we only we only save like the smallest of the small. Because if you did, if you only shot like max weight estimates, you'd run out of stuff to shoot very fast. Red, uh, thank you for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. I saw another deer. I think it was a doe, though, based on the coloration. It looked like it was very light. Oh, no, it's a buck. Well, prove me wrong, will ya? Oh, oh, was that a piebald or an albino? I swear to God, if this one got another rare, that looked like a rare. Either that or it angled its butt perfectly at me to where that's all I saw. <laughs> I, I guess that's possible, but I think that was a rare. I think that was a rare. Let's grab all the tracks and see. It would have to be a buck. It wouldn't be a female. Eighty-five to one hundred. Yeah. What is this? Piebald. It is. Guys, that's an eighty-five to one hundred track for a piebald. I knew I saw a white butt. <laughs> It probably sounds strange out of context, but <laughs> I knew I saw something. Okay, I gotta, I gotta see. I gotta see it. Let's get it back into the zone. Super rare? It could be. Technically, yes, that could be a super rare. That could be a super rare, possibly. We didn't get to see the rack. Let's hope this thing is a monster. Let's hope it's a giant. I didn't even get to spot it. We just saw its butt.
Now the question is, how long is it going to take to like get them out into the open? This zone has always been a weird one for us. Max score 100%? Could you imagine? That's not him. I see it. That's a big deer. I think that's 230s. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's not- It's a super troll! <laughs> it's a super troll! Oh gosh! Ugh! Why? Why? It's a super troll! That's a 253 piebald. Max estimate 253 piebalds always score top of the estimate. Oh my gosh, we were so close. That was almost a super rare. Oh my gosh, no way, man. So close. Look at him, though. He's beautiful. <laughs> he's beautiful, even though he's a troll. Wow, man. Ugh. Jeez. Oh yeah, true. It's not a troll technically because it's a two. Technically not a troll because it's a level two, but like that is the diamond rack. It's a, the diamond rack, but it's going to score below diamond by a couple points. Unfortunate. Oh my gosh. What a monster though. That's such a cool rare. Look at him. Beautiful. How far away is he? 210. Okay. I'm going to make him go broadside. I don't feel like taking a frontal shot like that. That's such an awesome buck. It's just unfortunate he's going to troll. Or not troll, but be a couple points below diamond. Imagine he makes it. He's, he just surpasses the estimates. Imagine. That'd be insane. I think it's already down. I think it dropped like in the bushes. <sighs> wow. I can't believe how big this pie vault is. And I can't believe it was so close to being a diamond. It just barely missed it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, dude. That's a beauty. 253.92. Wow. It was literally like a point off. It was like 1 point, 1 point 1.17 off. So cool though. The first crazy trophy aside from that uh, great one back on the uh, HM grind. Oh. You screamed like you found a great one? I mean, technically, this is more rare than a great one would be. So, uh, you bet I did. <laughs> Man. If only it was two points higher. Just two points higher. Would have been so good. I mean, it's not like we needed more small rack piebald diamonds. We already have three of them, so... It is what it is, I guess, but that that's still cool. That's still so cool that we got a, a rare that big. That is incredible. The question is, where's the great one? I know, bro, we're so close, man. So close. When are we going to get a, a, a big rack level 3 piebald or albino or mellow? Like, I want a super rare with the big rack. We've never got anything bigger than a basket rack in terms of super rares. We've never got a... Oh, I thought that was a rare. <laughs> I was about to be like, another? But no, it's not a rare. For some reason, it looked a little bit white in the light. Jeez. All right, later, Johnny. Thank you for dropping in, as always. What's the most underpowered gun in Call of the Wild? I think it's the 223. Oh, it is. It, it's awful. I hate the 223. I don't get why they made it so weak. IRL 223 is way better than that. 
Couple bucks we can shoot right there. Nice, we got them both. We're now at 820 kills. I would say great one is imminent. It's imminent. Normally we get a great one, sub 1500, so hopefully that trend keeps up. I don't want to jinx myself, but please don't turn into a bear grind. Please don't turn into the bear grind. I I would not I would not be happy if it turns into the bear grind in terms of length. My guess is probably 1,400 kills, though. I'm going to say 1,400 just like our last one. Last one was 1,461, so I'm going to say 1,432. Welcome back, Schrader. Welcome back. Excuse me, where is that? Oh, it's a coyote, that's why. Let's reset the time to get them over here. Best DLC, not guns? Uh, the tent and tripod DLC, in my opinion. It's one of the most useful DLCs in the game. Um, if you're on console, though, that comes with the base game. So if you're on console, I would say most useful has to be the tripods. So when you think about it, night vision, the night vision, like high tech hunting pack, it's also pretty useful. There's a lot of useful ones, honestly. Bam, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. No, we haven't got the great one bear yet, man. We haven't. No great one bear. That's why I decided to take a break and hunt some whitetail, because the bear grind, it was getting to me, man. It was getting to me. Oh, they got a sale going today? Ooh, nice. Perfect time to snag some DLC, then. I'm assuming that's why you were asking. I think the 270 is way underrated. It is very underrated. I I use I've been using it on the uh, no DLC playthrough, and it's really good. It's a really decent rifle for deer, especially. I know, right, Caitlin? Strange looking bears, indeed. It's almost like they they shrunk and they grew antlers. Okay, these are being stubborn. How you doing, though, Caitlin? Hope you're doing good. You just missed a 253 scoring piebald buck. Literally like 1.17 off of diamond. It was kind of crushing, but also really cool. Just happy to get a giant rare down. Oh, nice, Hawkeye. That's good. That'll definitely save people a lot of money. On those DLCs. Uh, no, we will not be doing Bear Grind today. Just, I need a break from it so I don't grow to completely hate it, you know? Gotta make sure I don't get completely burned out on the Bear Grind. I have 32 great ones, uh, YT aspect. Going for number 33 today. Hopefully we can get it. Hey, Nicholas, you missed a 253 scoring piebald buck. It was like a 1.17 off of diamond. It was insane. We saw, we saw its butt as it ran away, right? So I didn't see what the rack looked like. I was like, man, that, that looked like, uh, it looked like that deer had a white butt. And so, we went up and picked up the track, and sure enough, it said Piebald. And so I- and it was 85 to 100 track, so I was like, this could be a super rare! And so we reset the time, and... The first thing I see is that giant small rack diamond rack sticking up over the reeds. 
And I immediately was like, oh my gosh, super rare. And then I saw the score estimate and I, it immediately changed to, oh no, super troll. <laughs> but it was a level two, so technically it's not really a troll, but felt like a troll. <laughs> Uh, yeah, B-Dog, I use the 338 bolt for my bear grind. You botched your first diamond bear last night with the 44 Magnum? Ooh, ouch. That's rough. That's rough. Feels bad. When was the super rare troll? It was like 10 minutes ago, maybe? 10 or 15 minutes, I believe. Uh, no clue what that means, Lego. No clue what that means. Hey, we got these respawns back. Or at least one of them. They hath returned. Yeah, just one, I think. Down he goes. Six minutes since the pie balled? Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, it hasn't been that long ago. But it has been like 10 minutes since we found the track, I imagine. No, I believe Caitlyn has some diamond bears. In fact, I know she does. Let's see. Yeah, Pops, we got something crazy. We got a 253.92 scoring piebald buck. Less than two points off of diamond. It was exciting and also kind of sad at the same time because it just barely didn't make it. Okay, we got a couple bucks there. That one is not in its zone. Was it a three? No, it was a level two. It was the diamond rack level two. Just barely didn't make it, but so close, man. So close. Definitely the craziest thing we've got since we came back to herd management. That was a spine shot for sure. <laughs> Poor thing. Poor little feller. He got smoked. Level 9 cape was a troll. Unfortunate, Pringle. Unfortunate. How do I keep count of kills? I have a uh, click counter app on my phone where you can start up a counter and then just press a button to add a, to add one to it. And that's how I keep track of it. Let's see if we uh, got anything nice to respawn off of that big piebald. This zone has been on fire today. We had the albino here and then we had that... Uh, Giant piebald, too. This zone has been popping off. Bro, how are you not dead? What? I, I swear that first shot looked good. Maybe I'm wrong, but that first shot looked decent. Maybe I was too high. Could have been too high. Nothing there. Should next shot my next great one? I don't know, maybe. I have, to be honest, I haven't decided what we're doing with the next great one. I haven't decided the gun or what type of a shot I'm going to go for. I have not decided anything on that yet.
Thank you for not running, sir. I appreciate that quite a lot. <laughs> Shot it with the 223. <laughs> uh, it was scary enough shooting it into the lung with the 223, so probably not. <laughs> I thought I was going to mess it up when I was just going for a lung shot with that thing, so... Couldn't even imagine what a neck shot would feel like. It'd be terrible. You had to get in front of him, didn't you? That, that little one just... he just had to be the, the center of attention. Don't kill the wine, no! No! <laughs> Don't let the one die. Yeah, true, Zachy, true. It would still live. That is one positive to that. It would still live if I messed up the shot. Yeah, Dron, I was so sad when I saw that. Uh, like, I went from, like, peak of excitement to just disappointment. And then back to excitement because it was still a cool trophy. One meter hip fire with the 223. Oh, oh gosh. I mean, the hip fire with the Glock and the Rolleston was okay because you can't really miss with those things at close range. They're really accurate. But, uh, hip firing with a 223, that would, that, who knows where that would go? I could be touching the deer. I could be, like, literally one meter away from it. And it would probably miss. The rifles are really weird with their accuracy if you're hip firing. Like, one of those went down there, one went up there, and then two hit in the middle, one hit to the right, like... That was low. That was high. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't trust myself with that. Thinline muzzleloader has better hip fire. That's a possibility. I mean, iron sights inline would actually be kind of sick. I wouldn't mind trying to go for a great one with uh iron sights inline muzzleloader. How many kills am I at with the deer grind? Currently 835, so decent bit into it. Oh, we got a new one. Don't want him here. All right, all three down. 838 kills. Nice, Cole. Nice. That's a great DLC. Love it. Uh, yeah, Jackie, you did. You missed a few diamonds. You missed a troll, a really rare big rack level 3 troll. And then you missed a almost super rare. It was like two points off of diamond, and it was a, a giant piebald. It was so beautiful. And then we got a small albino as well. Oh yeah, that was the other thing, Caitlin. I forgot to tell you that we got so, we have had so many wonky level threes. We had a level three score two forty nine that was the big rack, big rack scoring two forty nine, like that was insane. And then we had another big rack score two fifty seven. And then we had uh, another one that was a mix of the big rack and the rack right below it. And one of them was pointed like almost straight up. I've had some really crazy looking diamonds today. Which has been really exciting to see. It's nice to get something, something different looking.
There we go. Cap locker inline. Uh, I like the inline better. 42, not bad. Oh, yeah, for sure, Cole, for sure. I think a lot of that just comes from the mass on the actual beams, and then I think the big one's got extra tines. A few of them. If I'm not mistaken, at least. See, I want to get all my zones to be like this. I want to get my tents positioned well enough to where... I can just go pop, pop, two deer down, move on to the next. Because that's like the most time efficient way. If I can get every single zone to be like that, where I just pop two, quickly fast travel and claim them, and then move on to the next, that would be ideal. Why the inline? I just like the modern look more. Not a fan of like the more classic looking muzzle loaders. I've always preferred like modern rifles and uh, muzzle loaders and handguns and stuff. Always preferred the modernized ones. Because I mean, that's what I would use if I'm hunting, right? Like if I'm hunting, I have I have more modern rifles. I mean, my hunting rifles are like an AR, a nice uh, bolt action 270, like. So it's just the type of guns that I hunt with in real life, so I just tend to prefer those types of guns in game as well. I've never hunted with a muzzle loader, but if I did, it would be it would be a more modernized one. Like the power of the OG one, it does have a lot of uh, penetration, that's for sure. You know what? Get out of there! <laughs> just, just run already! I can't see any of you! Probably would have been for the better, then I would have had those awful shots. Ugh. And that is the biggest downside to the Argus scope. That close range, close range follow up shots on running animals. AR or Virant 22? Um, I like the AR just for like aesthetics reasons, but the Virant has more ammo, so. In most cases, I'd say that's probably the better one. There we go. Get some water in me real quickly. Ow. Rude. Come on, bro. Chill. What DLC is the inline in? Uh, it's New England Mountains, I believe, right? Doesn't the inline come with New England? Luke, thank you for the 16 months, man. Been a little while. Glad to be back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. Yeah, definitely, YT, definitely. I like the, uh, I've always preferred ARs, so the AR-22 is what I use. Just because I prefer them. Love how good ARs look and... How fast they fire, how reliable and efficient they are.
And I mean, like, the customizability with, like, an IRL AR is, it's unmatched. It's amazing. You get one and you're like, oh my gosh, there's so much I could do to this thing. I could, I could change up so many parts to make it look different. Add so many, like, different attachments onto it to make it more useful in different scenarios. Like, the modularity is insane. I love it. Have you had a glitch on the Yukon Reserve? I have had bugs and glitches on every reserve in this game, so yeah, definitely have. Many, many, many ones. Ooh, big boy. Oh, yeah. Let's go. That's a good one. 268 minimum on the estimate. Holy. That is a gorgeous looking deer. What a big male. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. 272 92. Look at that. Let's add that to the diamond counter. I believe that's diamond number five. I believe that's diamond five of the day, if I'm not mistaken. Not a bad one. Very solid buck, but not quite past the taxing threshold. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming you're talking about with wolves then, race. Yeah, wolves do that a lot. Unfortunately, the wolves are quite buggy in that regard. Yeah, definitely, M.O. Man. It's like, they're, they're awesome. They're definitely awesome. I haven't changed a ton on mine, but I'd like to in the future. I've got it set up for hunting, so... Right now, it's just got a scope on it. Gosh, those two deer were side by side and it made them look different. I was thinking for a second, is that a great one? Nope. It's just two deer in front of each other. <laughs> It's crazy the different stuff that makes you think it's a great one when you're great one grinding. There's so many situations where I'll see something like that and I'm like, is that a great one? Yeah, mountain lions and lions do freeze in, di in different ways though. For the mountain lions and lions, it's more like they start to flee and then they kind of like freeze shortly after. And then when you get close, they unfreeze. But for... Oh, I messed that up. For the, uh, what's it called? For the wolves, they actually will literally just freeze and they never move. You can just walk up to them and they'll never move. We have an extra one here. Oh, no, that's a two. Just looked like a one because it's the little guy. Nice. We got vitals on that one. That brings us to 850 kills. Oh, man. Yeah, the weapon packs tend to come with, with uh, skins nowadays. I don't know if they're going to continue doing that in the future, but yeah, for the power pack they did. And I, I'm i pretty sure that, pretty sure Jaxi said that they were going to be doing that from now on. Speaking of weapon packs, what would you guys like to see in weapon packs in the future? Personally, I want to see like a, like a 460 a 416 or a 375 and then a 224 Valkyrie and then possibly like a 7mm Mod 8 that's a lot of guns that I'd love to see I'd love to see a 17 HMR as well like 
That'd be sick. That would be super awesome. RPG. <laughs> Mini gun. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Let's be realistic here. Oh, man. RPG. Nine millimeter? Nine millimeter could be nice. And you know what? Just to switch it up and make it different, they could do like a nine millimeter, uh, like pistol caliber carbine, 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 however you want to say it. They could do one of those. With like the pistol brace and everything. That would be pretty sick. Add like some type of weird Keltec into the game. <laughs> Yeah, 300 Blackout and 450 Bushmaster would be sick. Especially the 300 Blackout. I love 300 Blackout. Really badly want to get one someday. An intervention? You want the shy tack in the game, eh? shy tack would be interesting. That would be like extreme overkill though for everything. <laughs> a shy tech would just absolutely flatten everything. Uh, because Shnuli, if I hunt bears today, I will go insane and hate everything. So that's why we're not hunting bears. I've killed over 7,000 at this point, man. Like I can't just keep only hunting bears. If I just keep hunting bears, I'm never going to want to play the game again. So yeah, we're hunting something else. Because I, I, I actually enjoy the whitetail a lot more. And I still don't have the typical rat great one, so... We still have stuff we need to get anyway. But yeah, I'm not going to hunt bears if I am dreading it. We'll be back to bears at some point, though. Probably within the next couple days. Just gotta take breaks sometimes to prevent burnout. Where'd this one go? There it is. Nice little poke, that's awesome. A ring neck great one, that would be interesting. That would definitely be interesting. Going for a bird great one. I mean, they are on Hirsch now, so technically if they wanted to, they could do a Hirsch, a, uh, not Hirsch, a Pheasant Great One. It definitely wouldn't be my first choice, but... It's on base game maps now. Or one base game map, I should say. All right, everybody, I think we're probably going to go ahead and end it now before it gets too hot. We're starting to get to the heat of the day, and I can already feel the room just increasing in heat by the second. So we're probably going to go ahead and call it there, but I appreciate y'all being here. We got a crazy trophy today with that giant piebald and a lot of really wonk diamonds, which was really cool. And the, the craziest big rack level three troll I think I've ever had. So it was a good day. Thank you all so much, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.